All right, let's get into this. Paul's water bottle. Someone's gonna meme it. I mean, it's been memed before. So now we have to do these three gem cups as well as the turbo track, and we should be 100% done. Um, there's still other stuff to do for the platinum trophy, which I could do. I don't know if I really, if I should go that far though. We'll see. How strenuous is it? Because technically I am still 100% in the game by doing this. So we got these two gems. Oh, this room looks so good. This is one of the really good remake remasters I've ever seen. Like, they combine two different games. Andy with a plan. The corner store man. What? <laughs> How's your day been? It's been pretty good. I recorded a gym vlog with Alex earlier. Um, That could have gone better. Like, it, I'm still awkward when it comes to vlogs in, in public. So, it, yeah, I'm going to throw some bloopers in there, but... Energy drinks where it's at. Yo, I had to stop drinking energy drinks. They make me, um, like, I was addicted to Monster. And the more I was drinking, I was like, no, this guy happens to me. I'm too young to, like, for any health side effects to happen to. But I drank it so many times. I was drinking, like, two monsters a day to the point where, like, it got super hard to breathe and stuff. I don't know. Nothing's ever done that to me. But, like, it was getting, I was huffing and puffing. And it was usually doing the opposite of that at first. Like, literally, it was giving me more strength, more power, more this, that, and the other, more focus. Then all of a sudden, that started happening. I was like, uh-oh. Better chill with this. And, and I already had, like, asthma as a kid, but it just got bad. It's like, reminiscing of that. Like, I thought I grew out of it. And I work out perfectly fine, but... There, it just kind of exposed itself. And I was like, oh, no. I ain't trying to die. I ain't trying to die today. And it actually became detrimental to, like, actually working out. Because if it was, like, if it was a day I was drinking that... Then I'd go to work out um, and do some heavy ass weight. I was huffing and puffing it and my workout would have to get cut short. Or I wouldn't be able to do as much as I normally would because of that. Like just dying. Can't breathe. Yeah, I know. Just dying. Just easy stuff here. At least we got three of these cups to do and that relic track. And then I guess there's the, the rematch with nitrous oxide. All doable. I don't think I was going to be able to do all these yesterday in one recording session because that's a lot of races. That's every track you got to redo in one go and come first. Third lap. So far, so good. You're not throwing nothing crazy at me. I watched um, Cad Icarus's, uh video on this the other day and. Hold on, I think the audio is on the game is not synced. For me, it isn't. There we go. Much better. Um. Yeah, energy drinks, like, if you dr don't drink them and then you drink them once, yo, the amount of power it gives you, it's like you turn into a Super Saiyan. But if you get hooked onto it, you gotta drink more and more and more. Then all of a sudden, you realize what's in that. I think, was it Monster that has like a ton of sodium and stuff in it? And like sodium, no, 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 no. That's actually detrimental for like blood pressure and stuff. I was born in the energy drink, so it helps me focus. Aquatic Dragon, really? I was so addicted to Pepsi too. Like every single day I had to drink a Pepsi. Stream lag. Seems like it. I don't see anything on my end. Alright, sewer speedway. <laughs> yeah, Catacris' video on this game, like, yo, I love his videos, man. If I could do a collab with him one day, that would be like goals, but like, he had the Crash Bandicoot month thing, and I watched his Twin Sanity video, and then his review on this, and everything he said was just so. So, um, accurate to a T, because he plays the game entirely, and then he knows exactly what he's talking about. Like, this is actually one of my new favorite kart races. I forgot how much I love this as a kart racer, and I had played the shit out of Mario Kart 8, and I, I loved it. I had a good time with Mario Kart, especially, um, for me, the most favorite Mario Kart game I ever had, and most, um, 
exciting experience for me was Double Dash for the GameCube. I don't hear a lot of people mention that. Like, for some reason, having that co-op ability of having two people on the, the thing and the amount of replay we got out of it. We used to emulate it after the Nintendo GameCube died um, or when we put away the Wii um, or the disc broke. Non-stop playing of that game, being able to punch one another and we used to do so many things that golden vehicle and having all these other things sleep over to that game um i we, i just forgot how good it felt to have a weighted cart and like all these little things like like doing these turbos and all these things that make it much more skillful because something that i don't like about the mario games is that they cater very much to the noob friendly genre which is good for parties and stuff like literally that's what it's meant for like when you see friends that are noobs but um, it's not to the level where you can just really flat out become a pro and it absolutely destroy everyone. Like this, it has all the a lot of small things that can really change up the flow of everything, and I like a lot of small, easy things that are able to you're able to do that changes up everything. Like even knowing where that shortcut was that I just missed up there, it's it's hard to see. They made it very hard to see. It's not straight in your face, and those are some classic elements. I was like, wow, these guys really knew what they were doing when they made this game. And, and I, I really underestimated that back then. Um, another thing besides that is like they took elements from the original three tra Crash games and they were like, they threw them into here, like the Relic Races, and it works. So, I don't know, man. It's just a stroke of genius for this one. I miss Crash Bash, though. Even though it wasn't made by Naughty Dog, as a kid I thought it was. And the boss battles in that game was fun. Co-op in that game was fun. Double dash. Split screen. Aaron's in here. My friends drinks like three slushies a day. I want a lemon lime slushie. It's been a long time. Yo, I, like I saw a meme after the whole generation, after our generation of split screen playing was over, like where some kid put a cardboard box over his head and played on the lower screen and the other brother was playing with the, the upper screen. I was like, wow, just wow. The dragon mice. All right. Let's go. Mitsa me Mario. Eh eh. Ho ho. Ho ho. Alright, we're in eighth place and we're right next to each other. One, two, three. Boom, 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 boom. I blow up the track. Like my mixtape. I, mean, I gotta change characters. I've been using Koku too much and I, I I love her in this game. Like, she undid all of the the curse that she laid upon me in the other Crash games. Um, She undid all of that. But I think it's time for me to just try somebody do I think I should change after this after this cup and I do feel like this game does feel faster than the original like I don't remember it being this fast paced I really don't I should have gotten the apple should have gotten the apple should have saved that for the end but yeah, like I told you guys before, like the number one thing that I learned from in, for like driving games in general or like most of these kart racers is the number one most overrated thing that Jack ever told us or underrated thing that he ever told us. Yeah, um, in Jack 2. Uh, J Daxter, you drift a little high in those turns and didn't really use the brake properly. But uh, if you master the brake, guess what? You become a god. And that's how I got those precursor orbs back in the day in 2012 in Jack 2. I didn't, I never did that before that. And when I learned how to get those precursor orbs just from using the brake, it, it broke the illusion of you always have to go fast and bump into every wall to go the fastest you possibly can because that's not the truth at all. It isn't. It's actually like if you pull the brake, even though you feel like you're going slower, you're not. And in here, it's a lot of precise turns. And I, I don't know, I love it. Did you play Crash Tag Team Racing? Oh hell yeah! I love that game too. I don't. Just, I just don't know if it was as good as I remember it. Cause you could run on land. There was land missions as well as racing. I loved that concept for some reason and fusing the vehicles together. Sean and I used to play that, and I think that's why I loved it so much because of just that co-op element. I love co-op elements in games. Yo, you used to do hide and seek on the split screen game too. Safe? Yo, I thought we were the only ones that made that up. Ramsey, you didn't see the notification? Man, they never give you guys the notification. You think they should make an HD remake of Crash Tag Team Racing? I would like them to do that. I think they should have done that in this game because they combined it with Nitro Kart and it's a $60 price tag for this game. Duo, I mean, even though they threw in all the Nitro Kart um, maps, 
I didn't even know that because it's not here in the adventure mode. It's in the tracks, and apparently there's 32 tracks. At first, I was like, yo, this game isn't worth 60 bucks. But when they put 32 tracks on the thing here, that makes it much more... It was at least 30 tracks or something like that. Makes it much more worthwhile. However, I think it would be fully worth $60 without hesitation if it was included in the game. If, if Tag Team was included in this game and remastered, easy 60 bucks. But right now, I still think it's like... um. Still slightly controversial because, like, I, I don't feel that much content in the story mode. If they included it here, I don't know how they would do that, or if they um, put it in a separate thing where you would boot it somewhere else and then play up a remastered version of it. That would be good. But Tag Team Racing 3 games, price 60 bucks, that makes more sense to me. It's remade games with up updated graphics. Not saying that they work that they did here wasn't good. I'm just saying, like, it, it's still just. One more game would have justified the price tag for this for me. No, 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 not in midair! I hate when they, they time that so perfectly. That shit just really messes you up, but I'm in fourth place. Let's just drop this to see where it goes. It's going for a curve, and then it just goes into the wall. Someone took my apples. My wampa foot. Do not take my wampa foot. I would destroy you for that. Alright. I'll leave a potion down the middle. I love this trippy tunnel. They made it, like, just as epic as it was in the original. It was, like, a darker blue from what I remember. Come on, put the rockets down! And now it's just something else. Fifth place, that's the way I can pull out of my... I guess it's only the second lap, so... You... Bye-bye. Bandicate power, yeah! Dingo doyle, fucking awesome! I don't know where that came from, guys. Please forgive me. Give so much bump. Damn, these guys are fast. Oh my god, I jumped off the course. I was looking at the map for like a split second, and then all of a sudden I was like, why is Crash all the way back there? Am I that far back? Okay, so you're you're hurt. Come on, give me your Ukuga. Did he just fall off? I made him fall off. Yes! I'm trying to catch up. This is like the worst race in terms of How much speed I got. Look at that. See, that's the thing I'm talking about, where you need actual precision and skill, and you can really maximize it. The higher the the level cap with that, that type of stuff hidden in the game, the better for me. I think the the more small things like that just makes it so perfect. Oh, where's Nitrous? Let's get him. Yo, this is about to come in clutch. Oh man. He got past the finish line. That would have been perfect for me. It might be time for an upgrade. Hey, we got Banos in the chat. Um, what, you guys got nothing on Dora or Blue's Coos games either. A classic. Diddy Kong Racing was the racing game that started off with me and Mark. Diddy Kong Racing. Where the hell did that go? I had that on the N64 and on the DS. What happened to Diddy Kong Racing? I loved flying with the plane and going into the water. Um, what happened to it? Hey, what's going on, guys? I don't even know how you're going to do the Oxide Time Trials. I saw that. Um, we got to see. So close to that achievement. Edgar! Pancakes or waffles? I would say pancakes. I like pancakes a bit more. I love waffles, but pancakes to me, they are they have the fluff that fills your soul. Paul 2019. It just stopped. What happened, Shiny? Alright, we got another gem. These look like a bunch of sour candies to me. I don't know why. I never knew engines I was removable for this game. I chose Paul over anime. What's wrong with me? What's right with you, my friend? Alright, we got two more of these cups. I'm gonna go for yellow now. Paul, do you play PUBG Mobile? I got a clan you can join. I don't really play mobile games that much. The only one that I really play right now is Legends. Yo, know, my battery nearly dies every time I boot it up. 
shoe or sock? Which would you? Yeah, I would probably choose the sock because the shoe. You know, back in the day, I underestimated how big the shoe is. I was like, how how dreadful that be. Kawhi to LA. Oh, I hope I hope they get Kawhi on the Lakers. He's meeting with them, so if they get Kawhi on the Lakers, man, that would be my dream. Like, um. Last year, I had gotten to... Yo, I always just wanted to go to a basketball game and watch LeBron James play. And last year, that happened to me for Christmas. And it was like... It was a dream come true for me. Like, I was... That was probably the, one of the best, if not the best, Christmas presents I ever got. And... Man... I, I don't regret it. I would probably want to do it again with how much it was just... I don't know. It was surreal to me. I always wanted to. And I never thought as a kid growing up that I'd be able to go to one and actually get, like, decent seats. But then I was like, wow, I got to witness LeBron play. And I, I, you guys, I'm a big LeBron fan, fanboy. And, I, and we were like, what, in row 15 or row 12 at the very least? It's 15 to 12, somewhere, over, like 12 to 15, somewhere there. Um, and I was like, wow, this is just something amazing. I can't say it's the absolute best by far. It was probably the most pricey. But there was something about those childhood Christmases where everything was just much more... Um, Nostalgic, I guess it could probably be blinding me because back then I'm just flying into all these freaking things Back then there was just something about having a smaller type of thing or even the smallest things making me happy Like getting a memory card for Christmas I had I had no memory card with my original PlayStation and I used to I spent like almost the entire year playing it and Never turning the thing off when I had to or hiding the button um, The fact that it was on to my parents because we couldn't afford like electricity like that But we still were able to get me games every now and then and just being able to save my games, I was like, oh, special moment. And my parents used to record these every Christmas um, with us opening the presents and seeing what we got and all these really nice things. Even the action figures we get, like if it was just random Power Ranger action figures. I keep it in this freaking armadillo! Just getting those things and um, playing with them. There's something very special about that. But I felt like last Christmas for me was probably the closest I felt to that in a long time. And that's what made me really happy. Shark title, you goddamn clips. Uh, I chose Paul instead of four. What are we talking about? What? Was engine in a two Yeah. Damn four. I hate LeBron. Some of them dick ride too much. <laughs> to be honest, LeBron would lose to Jordan in one v one. I don't know, man. I had to work. I had to fucking work for the games I got in the game. They give me shit based on this to get to school. Same, yo, if I didn't get good grades, you don't get nothing. Um, man, the reason why I like LeBron James is because the man is like the, no matter what anybody says, he is the most durable and probably one of the strongest specimens of like human life in sports. Like the most dur durable athlete. It's been what, 60 se 16 seasons. The man's never really taken an injury like that. And in, like he's already gigantic, man. This guy's huge super strong super fast and all this and he's like a superhuman it's like watching a superhero that's why i'm like that's why i've been one of his biggest fans but back in the day i used to think oh man i'm gonna get flagged for this youtube don't like the word uh that deals with uh performance enhancing uh stuff i used to think he was natural back in the day i used to think all these movie stars and and wrestlers and all these guys in sports they're all tested and it's all clean and these guys are natural. I was so wrong. I was so naive. This was back when I was like 16, 17. And Alex had told me, it's not true, man. The dude's on like serious, serious uh, orange juice. As well as almost everybody in the league. If you want to play at a high thing in almost every sport, they're all on orange juice, man. And I did not know that until I got further into bodybuilding and I realized... You'd be surprised how many people are running around on orange juice and and even like back when I used to work at Plan I used to work out at Planet Fitness, um, people used to just be using juice casually, just casually, just to get like casual gains, and in a casual gym like that, and I was like, what the? F and you'd be surprised how many people are just running around just using it on a daily day to day, and it, they don't have to look like a freak of nature; they just look like the average sh schmuck. The pill that made their pee pee small, yeah. It's like they they look like they don't look like I, I don't even know how to put it. It, it bare like it, you can make that easily. Like the gains you could get from that, 
And a natural person could easily walk into the gym and get that. But they would still use that magic um, orange juice for it. And I was like, what the hell? You, they didn't even live for like a year yet. And they were already looking for shortcuts. And I was like, what? Are you kidding me? You ruin your natural testosterone levels at this age when they're in its peak. Just to get what you would have gotten naturally after maybe two years at most. And if you did everything properly. Just to get it within like three months. And you're going to lose it the minute you get it off. I was like, what the hell? My life was changed after that. I was like, oh my god. This is what, what the world is? Like me? Nah, I ain't, I ain't on that. If I was on that, I'd be straight up with you guys. Plus, my physique ain't at that level. I wouldn't say at the level it could be if I was on that orange juice. Um, if I was, the first thing I would do, uh, I would probably change like my whole social media thing down to just being straight bodybuilding to make um, a living off of it. Because that's what I would say you would do. Like, If you want to get a brand sponsorship, that's what most of them do anyway. Probably will get demonetized for this shit, but I don't care. And then... um. I don't have a problem with people using orange juice. It's just when they lie about it and then they try to sell supplements that people don't need for it. There's some supplements that work. I know a few that do work. But majority of the things, 99, 95% of the things on a store shelf when you walk into a GNC, it's all lies. It's all lies. And I I, I fell into that trap when I was like in my younger teens, like, like maybe 16, 17, trying to f figure out like what supplements can help me. I I'm never ever going to like try to use any of these other things so i'm gonna use just the supplements that I've, I've seen that work and the two main things i would say work that i didn't like really um use in that first year and then i found it and it changed up all my lifting the two things you really need is a pump formula and a, a pre-workout that's all you really need but you can substitute that so easily with other stuff hey big dig vic in the chat uh, I don't see we see Kawhi go to the Lakers because he believes Toronto has a chance to Rose will go back to Toronto and play the rest of his career. I feel bad for DeRozan. Hey, what up, Karen? I'm doing good. Timber said I worked up for one month I was good, but I was 14. <laughs> his quick question is, are you some type of kool -Aid? It's the, uh, the pill that makes the pee-pee small. Hey, Paul, you seen Ghost Avengers post Malone? I didn't see that. Um, I just accepted the fact that I'm a semi scrawny dude. Hey, man, so did I. But it's it's good if if you like it don't don't change you man but if you don't like it you can go and improve yourself and do that in the gym that's what I wanted I didn't like being small and I wanted power since I was a kid Dragon Ball and all these other things like it wasn't just Dragon Ball that put it into my head but it was like all the cartoons back in the day and all the stuff I just wanted power and I got it wanted more than anything what up candy. I'm having like life talks on Twitch every single day. We have some new life talk. It's it's I love it. I'm having therapy on Twitch. Ah, I just ran right into the CPU there. Actually, did smart. Okay, let me get a boost. Let me get a boost. Come on, come on. This thing sways to the right. So let's see if we can just right across them. Are you serious? Oh, boop -da -ba. Boop -da -boop -da -boop. I think I knocked him off. Did I kill him? Tiny, it's him. I really want to see how he controls. His, like when I change the character, I should have changed. It, I forgot to. Um, after this race, like how does it feel to control them? Bye bye. How does it feel to actually control someone with different stats? Because I always used to think like stats in the kart racing games, like Mario Kart, and in this game, were just there to to fool you into thinking that it was gonna make a big difference because. I mean, quite honestly, they have the rubber banding effect. They have all these items. Does it really make that big of a difference? But I think more than anything, you probably feel in the turns. I think I felt that immediately by changing to Coco. Holy shit, look at this turbo. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Alright. Alright, here we go. Second lap done. 
third lap. Here we go. I got 10 apples and these super powered rockets and like nobody trying me. Nobody wants to try me. Yo, this is my like this is my best track when it comes to drifting. I don't know what it is. Oh no! I think I just threw the race. Yo, these races have been like such a cakewalk. Cakewalk. I mean, I lost a couple of them, but where the hell did that go? I lost a couple of them, but it's like, yo, I don't even know what race I'm on. I'm just racing throughout the courses and just doing my thing. I know I'm not on the hardest mode, but at the same time, shit, I should have probably picked the hard mode at the beginning. We all know that Ty to use that orange juice. Yes, Edgar, finally. That's the right one. Paul, I water plants for one hour and 30 minutes for four, every four days, so I'm not going to watch that DVO set. Who waters plants for that long? Why? Urban Ma, what up, man? Damn, we got a lot of people in here today. Every stream is a different topic, yep. Sadly. What up? What the hell? Sally, but you remember Chef Lancaster? I go there once or twice a month. Any point years that might push me to go more? Um, I'm doing good, Candy. For me, uh, when I was going to Planet Fitness, you have to have the drive to go. Otherwise, you're going to quit. I quit like twice. Maybe two times, maybe three times with Planet Fitness. The problem with it is that, like, I ain't going to lie. I was intimidated by other people and I was afraid of, like, going there and getting bullied by the weights or anything like that. And. In Planet Fitness, it's less likely, but it does happen. There's a lot of douchebags there, and they can be... They were, they're way smaller than me back then, too, and they were still acting like douchebags, like going in front of the mirrors and stuff, and, and they had a whole bunch of them squatted up and shit. I mean, nowadays, I'd probably eat all of them, but um, back then, the best way to stay motivated is to follow a bunch of bodybuilders on YouTube and Instagram. Follow them, keep them all over your page, see what other people are doing in the fitness industry, um that you like in terms of personality and if you know and can confirm that they're doing the same things you are like if you're a natural lifter or if you're even enhanced um keep it surrounding you at all times watch motivational videos every single day and try to if you have to invest in supplements get a pre-workout um it'll give you the energy if you feel like you're lacking on energy make sure you have the right music always work out with the right music because that stuff in Planet Fitness Oh my god, estrogen inducing. I couldn't really work out to it ever. My workouts would die when I heard when I did that. Or you can even change gyms. Put down more money towards yourself if you have the money for that. Like the reason why I used to go to Planet I could barely afford anything else. It was ten dollars a month. Um I think I didn't even have to put any money down and I was like, this is the cheapest thing I could get. And in my years in this this planet from this here located in Jamaica, Queens, um out of like the thousands of people I would see sign up and leave and come back and quit only like maybe five to ten people ever made any real gains because of how it's set up and the motivation behind it. it you don't feel like you're losing money by missing the day um because of how cheap it is and everyone in there has that same mentality so nobody sees each other grow really and it's just it, it, it's not the best atmosphere if you could afford to go to a bigger gym go there if you can afford a personal trainer hire one it's all about how badly you want it if you only want it at like a on a scale of 1 to 10, maybe a 7 or 8, then you can't say that you want it bad enough. doesn't mean that that won't get you anything. It won't get you to maybe if you want, like... It depends on the results you're really looking for. And that's why I would say follow bodybuilders and stuff that are in the lifestyle that you want, that have the physique that you want, and see what they're doing and emulate it. It's the same thing with video games, by the way. Um, in video games, to do the best you can in video games, what do you guys do? We all go here on Twitch, or you watch your, your favorite... your um. Your favorite pro player stream and then you learn from what they're doing you break it down you emulate what they did and all of a sudden your gameplay is going to improve no matter what no matter what like the tips they give out the smallest adjustments can change everything and it's crazy in how many aspects of life that works we on the third lap here
Let me just make sure these turns are good. Bye. I hate bullies too. And I, even to this day, like, people try to bully me in the gym. Like, you would see, like, they do intentional stuff. Especially when I got the hoodie on. Because they think I'm just a small looking... Like, like I just started the gym. Then that shit comes off and everybody runs away from me. On God. And I, I love that feeling because now I can actually stand up to them and make the bullies my bitch. And I, and I just love that. Because I hate when people try it. Like, whenever I see somebody, I leave them alone. I don't go in anybody's way. I actually try to help people. And then you see people actually try that. And they have, like, a little bit of, like, a bicep pump. And they go mad with power. And I'm like, nah, I don't stand for that shit. I hate that. Or you got other people, like, making fun of other people in the gym and judging them super hardcore. I'm like, come on, man. They need their BFF to come back to them. Yep. That's kind of part of the reason why I was lifting, too. I wanted the strength to, like, mess with bullies. To bully the bullies was actually part of one of the reasons. And I was like, yo, have I ever been bullied? Yeah, man, you should have seen me in middle school. But I learned how to handle it. I learned to laugh at myself. And it wasn't easy. But once you learn to laugh at yourself and realize and embrace it and what it is, what it's for, um, everything just becomes that much easier. And I think...